And I wonder your thoughts on how this works. As I try to make sense of this, maybe that's my first mistake. Kevin McCarthy <laughs> got fired for making a deal with Democrats, if we even call it that, and passing a continuing resolution to keep the government open. This man just got elected to do the same thing. He says he'll put the CR on the floor. And he got a vote from every single member of the Republican conference. How do you explain it? Yeah, and I, I've talked to a couple of folks in Washington today since the uh, since the new speaker was elected. I don't know Mike very well. Mike got there uh, just as I was leaving. I've met him a couple of times. We worked together when I was in the administration, but I, I don't know him like I know some of the folks that I've been there with for a decade or more. Um, and the folks I talked to said that they're going to give him a little leeway, a little a little runway here. And the, the, the conservatives have already committed to, to voting for a short-term CR in order to give them time to do some other things, specifically pass or at least vote on all 12 of the spending bills. That's the exact same thing that cost Kevin McCarthy his job, was requesting uh, a, a short-term CR. So clearly, the attitude on the right is better right now with Mike Johnson than it was towards the end of Kevin McCarthy's speakership. That being said, no one yet has, asked, has, has got me any information about where the center of the party is. I'm talking about the appropriators who hate short-term CRs. Um, there was some discussion, for example, on the right of a full-year CR. That would go over like like, like a turn in a punch bowl with the appropriators, with the spenders, with the centers, with the centers, uh, centers of the party. So um, the first take then is that Mike is going to have a little bit more latitude. But this is, uh, as as I've told people today, that the, the easy part is finished. You got yourself elected speaker. That was the easy part. Now the hard part is you have to be the speaker. And how long do you think he will be speaker, Mick? I mean, is this someone that, like Kevin McCarthy, is given six to nine months? I asked the same question, and the same, everybody told me about the same thing, which is we are done, they are done, with motions to vacate for this Congress. Okay? That, that, that they will let Mike Johnson run run the rest of this Congress and then maybe have a discussion after the midterm elections and so forth. They're hoping, of course, they're still in the majority after the next term, after the, uh, the 2024 elections. But everybody I talked to said that Mike looks fairly secure for the rest of this Congress, so another, uh, what, 15 months at least? Hmm. Donald Trump did factor in the end here. He seems to like this idea. Mick, what do you think of the kingmaker or not so much ability here of Donald Trump after going through now four nominees and he had some not very successful endorsements, including Jim yeah. Jordan? Did he actually he give will. Republican members cover to vote for this new speaker today? No, they didn't need it. They don't. This is a, this is really is a personal vote. It, look, Donald Trump. Um, is really good, not really good at getting people elected. Okay? We saw that in Pennsylvania, we saw it in Arizona, we saw it several, way too many times in Georgia. Okay? He's not very good at getting people he likes elected, but he is really good at preventing people he doesn't like from getting elected. And that's where he came in wow. with Kevin McCarthy. But he wasn't able to get Jim Jordan across the line. I, I, I feel sh assured that was his first choice. He, he, he sees Kevin, uh, Jim Jordan as a, one of his staunchest supporters. So and Trump will talk, try and take credit, but I, I don't think if you ask anybody in the room who voted today if Trump moved their vote one way or the other, I, I, I can't imagine that happening. What do you make of the fact that this individual did not certify the elections? Of course, you were out after January 6th. Yeah, I was out and I quit on January 6th. Um, but look, I, I just did a, an interview with a Democrat. And he's like, and he asked me the same question. I'm like, so let me get this straight. When we talk about 2020, it's us looking backwards. When you talk about 2020, it's OK. I, it, I, I, I imagine there's a lot of people in that chamber who would wish they had that vote over. Um, but I don't think it's become disqualifying. Obviously, it hasn't become disqualifying to be speaker. Mike Johnson's going to be judged as speaker from this day going forward, not this day backwards. Yeah.